Tell Bing she can have this back in a couple of hours. Uh, I love you dearly, Dad, and I'm glad we're together again, but you've got double yellow lines down your back. And if you throw a wobbler now and wreck this, I will feed your ghoulies through that knitting frame on rusty needles. There was me thinking life was getting too damn comfy with you. Too damn slippers by the cottage fireside and cocoa for two and mind you put the cat out there. Oh! Over the past few years, Government has increasingly offered incentives for small firms to get established in development areas. There has been a history of abuse with such schemes, particularly in the garment and knitwear trades. Firms stay just long enough to cash the checks from a grateful development agency, and two days later the employees arrive back from their lunch break to find the gates padlocked and every piece of equipment and machinery gone. Cynics might say so what? Tough luck on the poor people that thought they were out of the gyro shuffle at long last, but uh, a job's a job. Even a fly-by-night job, if it shows up in the employment statistics. And if it's a fraud, it's only a little fraud on the people who don't matter anymore. So no one's bothered except the unions, and they're going out of fashion fast. But if someone were to take the trouble to link these little frauds together, at the least the checks wouldn't be so easy to pick up from the development agencies, and at the most, they'd look something like a case for the regional crime squads. There are gaps and guesses, but I should think that's the closest anyone has ever got to a complete picture of the companies you own and of how the money circulates around them. I shouldn't think the inland revenue or the customs and excise have such a detailed picture. As yet. And after that, this. Again, gaps and guesses, speculation. But I believe that to be an outline of your next interlinked series of frauds against the development agencies, and I should say, it very neatly constitutes conspiracy. It is the woman who has done this to me. No. I did the mileage, I checked the names, your argument is with me. It is the woman. She has done this to me. I accept full responsibility, both moral and legal. Always supposing the moral side of it is of interest to you, I don't suppose there's anything there you'd care to take through the courts, so that's the legal disposed of. I will deal with a woman alone. You think I'd leave you alone with her? After what I know about you? I hate to the church for the love of... I am used to handling people with I or you at the end of their names. I lived with one for long enough. And look what happened there. I have several appointments this afternoon. Please. I'll be outside. I'll be just outside. Tell the boys to go with me. You understand I cannot even discuss this business with you when there is a man there to watch, to see me perhaps make a deal with a woman, the woman who has done this to me. He steps to me, Catalaven. Pragmate, Catalaven. 
price on these? For starters, Arnie gets his 2,000 back. Two? I did him a favor taking this rubbish gear off him. Plus one new shirt. Unless we balance that one against the one your cousin got the ketchup down the front of. <laughs> Try to make a living. You look around you and you see a business where you only need your wits and a fiver to give you a start. So, you're doing okay. Suddenly the place is full of brothers, cousins and relatives you never knew you had, all wanting jobs and favors. So you fix them up. Now you think you can take it easy. The taxman wants his cut, so you settle him. The vatman hits you. So now you're working 20 hours a day, every day of the year. Christmas, your Easter, my Easter, and you're pleasing nobody. Then people like you come along and roll me. You mug me in my own church. Like you mugged Hector in that scruffy little car of yours. Do you know what a tire, a new tire cost for that? But I need a car like that. If you had a family as big as mine suddenly seems to be, but can I get a hose run against it? Or have the oil changed when I need that doing? Suddenly, the place isn't so full of relatives with willing hands. 